Welcome back 640 on this Tuesday morning. Get ready for a nice day outdoors. Perhaps yes. if you have a pool, time to jump in it, get out the bathing suit. It's that time of year. Or get the grill out today. It's just going to be nice out there. That's what you're prepping for today. Yeah, I know. You know, I don't think tomorrow will be great grilling weather only because gusts up to 35 miles an hour. It's going to be my hair's going up. It's yeah. going to be windy. Yeah, definitely a bad hair day and that'll be in the wake of our cold front that we're tracking and that cold front will move in early Thursday. Right now though, in the wake of that front, we're off to a clear start with temperatures in the 50s just before sunrise 52 in Waco Temple. Good morning to you at 53 upper 50s in clean and Marlin and Gatesville sitting at 54. So overall mild start right outside your window. We're waking up to a clear sky and a few high clouds, but not rain producing clouds uh, this morning. So we are waking up to different live camps, not as gloomy as yesterday. But like I was just telling Heidi, we're tracking a cold front well over uh, to uh, the northwest. That's right over Utah and parts of uh, Colorado will eventually see this cold front late tonight, but this cold front will take a southeasterly track that's going to make us windy on Wednesday, and that's going to make temperatures fall into the 70s and eventually the 60s as we're wrapping up our work week. So enjoy the 80s while it lasts. Lots of sunshine across the board. We're looking at upper 80s in Colleen and Temple. I think this model is a little on the cooler side. 87 in Waco, upper 80s for much of our western counties, just shy of 90 in Lanark topping out at 89 degrees. Now overnight we stay rain free. It'll be clear and temperatures fall back into the 60s. So overall mild start to our Wednesday we will hang on to the sunshine Wednesday and Thursday, but that cold front will move in early Thursday morning. It'll be a dry cold front, so it's not going to bring us any rain. However, we'll be tracking an unsettled weather pattern Friday and into our weekend. So this will be the fourth weekend in a row where we have measurable rainfall in central Texas. Let's go ahead and walk you through that weekend rainmaker. There's your your time stamp. This is Friday at 6 p.m., but we introduce a 10% chance of rain by early evening. So this is 10 p.m. A couple of hours before midnight, rain will just gradually increase from north into south Texas. That's Dallas, Waco, Austin, and San Antonio. Here comes an area of low pressure, but look north of that area of low pressure. Pockets of snow in parts of the Texas panhandle. It's early April. No snow in our forecast, though, not even looking at a severe weather threat or a washout for that matter. Here's lunchtime on Saturday, but watch this the heaviest rain now east of I 45 by Saturday at 6 p.m. So it's not going to be continuous rain or overall overcast. We'll start getting some breaks in the clouds by mid afternoon on Saturday, and that's why we say not a washout in the forecast over the weekend, but we still need the rain. Just unfortunately bad timing. We're just stuck under this weather pattern that brings us the on and off rain during our weekends. Saturday up to 70% of us will see rain. Sunday we start to dry out. Spring like high temperatures Sunday into early next week. Back to you.